friends today we are going to learn the within mcqs of chapter number 13 motion and time question number 1 which of the following cannot be used for measurement of time answer blinking of eyes can be different for different people and it is not a periodic phenomena hence we cannot measure time using blinking of eyes Question number 2 two, two clocks A and B are shown in the figure clock A has an hour and a minute hand whereas clock B has an hour hand minute hand as well as second hand which of the following statements is correct for these clocks part A the time interval of 30 seconds can be measured by clock A Part B time interval of 30 seconds cannot be measured by clock B time interval of 5 minutes can be measured by both A and B part D time interval of 4 and minutes and 10 seconds can be measured by clock A answer clock A cannot measure seconds as it does not have seconds hand clock b can measure seconds too so option c is the correct answer question number 3 two students were asked to plot a distance time graph for the motion described by table a and table b answer speed slope of the graph is same for motions described by table a and table b so graph a and b will be same as given in the figure question number 4 a bus travels 54 km in 90 minutes the speed of the bus is 10 m per second question number 5 if we denote speed by s distance by d and time by t the relationship between these quantities is answer distance is equal to speed into time question number 6 the time period of a simple pendulum is the taken by a to travel from part a a to b and back to a part b o to a a to b and b to a part c b to a a to b and b to o part d a to b answer one complete oscillation means going from one extreme position to another and then coming back to same initial position time taken in one oscillation is equal to the time period of the pendulum so option a is the answer question number 7 figure shows an oscillating pendulum time taken by the bob to move from a to c is t1 from c to o is t2 the time period of this simple pendulum is answer a to o is equal to the 1/4 of the oscillation hence time period is 4 times 4 t1 plus t2 question number 8 the correct symbol to represent the speed of an object is answer option a is the correct answer speed is equal to distance upon time speed is equal to meter per second is equal to 5 meter per seconds question number 9 bujo walks to his school which is at a distance of 3 km from his home in 30 minutes on reaching he finds that the school is closed and comes back by a bicycle with his friend and reaches home in 20 minutes his average speed in km per hour is answer total distance covered is equal to 2 into 3 is equal to 6 km time taken 30 plus 20 is equal to 15 minutes average speed is equal to 7.2 km per hour so 
ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स बाय बाय